More than two months after a fire at a southwest Portland apartment building destroyed the livelihoods of dozens of Portlanders, many are still trying to bounce back. Well, those who lived in the building next door that burned said it was hard enough to get their belongings back. Well, now they've learned from the property owners that some of their apartments were burglarized. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke to two of those tenants and joins us live from Southwest 14th Avenue to tell us how they are still trying to get back on their feet. Connor. Well, Pete, in real, you can see behind me this portion of Southwest 14th Avenue is still closed because the May Apartments still has not been demolished at this time. The next door at Maxwell Hall, crews have been working inside to try to restore this building. Now, the tenants who live there have retrieved their belongings, but they still say it's been a struggle to try to get their lives back on track. Two months since a fire ripped through the May Apartments in Southwest Portland, and the cleanup continues. At Maxwell Hall next door, tenants have moved out with most of their possessions, but not all was returned. Earlier this month, they received this text from property management saying units were burglarized. On the 4th, we got the text about um, the breaking. So I, I was just mad because it's like, you know, we had played the game of being patient throughout the city and the regulations and all that and then you see that you know it, it was like well <laughs> what more can be taken i was really disappointed they told everyone that they had security and so like, i just feel like there should have been more precautions being taken brian Schaffler and Tierland sanchez are two former tenants who are still trying to get back on their feet brian says he had electronics and a signed guitar taken nothing too serious but i mean it Considering the circumstances, it really isn't right, you know, because we had all been through everything else. Tierlin says she also had electronics and personal belongings like jewelry taken out of her apartment. I'm glad I got my stuff back for sure. Um, it's just kind of sucks that my stuff has been stolen. Both Brian and Tierlin say property owners hired movers to pack up their apartments, but it was up to tenants to move dozens of boxes to a new location. Tierlin says she was able to move into her partner's parents' home in Canby, and Brian says he moved into a new apartment down the street from Maxwell Hall. Both say they're slowly starting the next chapter of their life. Just waiting to save up enough to actually move into a nicer place. I feel normal like I did before the fire, so uh, that's really good. Well, Pete, Pete and Real, I did reach out to the city to see when the May apartments will be demolished at this time. They say they don't have a timeline, but they're ready to approve any permits from the property owners to start the demolition process, and they say that can take up to six weeks. Now, I also reached out to the property owners of Maxwell Hall to get comment on this burglary and the process of moving out their tenants, and I did that repeatedly over phone and also text, but so far, I haven't heard back. Reporting live in southwest Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.